All right, oh my, my muscles are tensing up so much right now. My, I'm, if I feel so lightheaded, then. Wow, wow. Oh, baby. Good boy. Just checking in to see uh, how the marathon training is going. I was just looking at that. Have you registered? You registered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you haven't actually trained. Yeah, I've been asking myself why I haven't actually trained. This is the biggest physical challenge I've ever undertaken. I don't know. I don't want to skip on it. Like, I want to do it. I want to give it a try. All right, I'll see you in 72 hours. All right. Best of luck. Thank you for that. See how this goes. Dude, I'm scared. I'm trying to, like, act all the time. I'm trying to do that. I'm just terrified. <laughs> I'm so scared. At this point, you're probably wondering why the heck would I say yes to running a marathon with zero training? Let me explain real quick. For my whole life, I struggled with procrastination and an extreme lack of discipline. And I thought that by signing up for the marathon, I would force myself to create a healthy habit of training. But somehow, once again, I failed to put the time in. And around the same time, I just wasn't doing very well mentally. I was falling into another episode of depression. I struggled with depression in the past. And to be honest with you, at some point, I just decided not to run the marathon. I told Matt that I was dropping out, but also a part of me was hoping that by committing to running it, I would somehow get some answers. So I just basically said F it and I decided to run the marathon 72 hours in advance. I pulled all the resources and everyone that can possibly help me and I just went for it. There's a book called Born to Run that I read. Oh, yeah, you always said like Matt's know. favorite book. It literally makes you feel like running a marathon is not that much. An audible? Born to Run. This one? Yeah. The advice is to do a run about four days out so you can just get your body used to the impact of the pavement and then rest. All right, I'll do exactly that. Oh, this is going to be way harder than I thought. I'm like a mile in and I'm exhausted. You're probably going to have to cut 100% of all the things you usually eat, so. Good luck. Oh. Hi! <laughs> I would do this one before you run, like right before. But it's the mushroom power, pink Himalayan sea salt. All right. So Mar just texted me to go get lunch, and obviously it's a salad place. <laughs> are you ripping on me? <laughs> you guys gotta stop ripping on me. I need all the support I need in the next 72 hours. Eating healthy check. But I'm running the LA Marathon tomorrow. And unfortunately, I did not train. I kind of forgot to train. <laughs> Does anyone in the room have any advice? Like, I was on Olympic cycles. Olympic cycles. By far the most important thing is that you want to start off slow, almost slower than you think you should start. Operation finish the marathon. Yes. At all costs, all right? He did the Tour de France nine times. The Tour de France. That's the most intense cycling race in the world. Holy Do you think I'm going to survive this? The marathon? Yeah. <laughs> Is it your first one? It's my first one and I did not train. Yeah. Alright, I made a little support video for you. Friends and family who you haven't seen in a bit inspire you to run this marathon. I need so, that. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mar, I'm so proud of you. I'm inspired by the way that you constantly do things that feel impossible. I'm Mar, baby. Let's go, champ. Just want to say love you and yeah, dude. Run it, baby. Love you. <laughs> I think I have faith in you, even though you will probably not feel your legs for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you. Good luck on Sunday. Call me after the finish line. Thanks, there. Hey guys, we're heading out in two minutes. Do this happen? We're actually leaving the house. It's game time. Oh my yeah. god, dude. My heart yeah. is just pounding right now. It's yeah. the worst decision of my life. So weird. The best decision of my life. Uh, best decision. I can't believe we do this. We actually made it to the morning of and no one backed out. I'm like, what if I like, can't walk for the rest of my life after this? <laughs> Convince them to download the audiobook and listen to it but right next to me. So, Born to run. Oh, Born to run. Born to run. I'm like so nervous. I feel I'm going to throw up. Like, I literally feel like I'm going to throw up. One mile down, 25.2 more to go.
more of the way through, let's go. Amar! Just gotta do this three more times. Three more times. Hello, can I get like a croissant or something? Chocolate? I got hungry all of a sudden. It was good. Will I regret this? I have no idea, but it feels good right now. First double digit, let's go. Let's go, dude. What's up, Dan? man? <laughs> How's it going? It's going, man. My legs are burning, but my legs are burning. Like killing, dude. Killing me, dude. Yeah. Every step, it's like ow, ow. Oh, Ready, buddy. My legs are really good. Keep going. Yeah. Run marathon with friends, people. Don't run your own. Because you'll, you'll need this. Yeah, it's good. Oh, thank you, buddy. You're the man. Wow. I gotta do this one more time. No quitting. No quitting. No quitting. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. If I feel so lightheaded, then. Wow. Wow. I am mile 19 right now. My my quads just my quads just giving up on me right now. It seems so inconceivable to me that I'll be able to just stand up and do this one more time. Right, these are two complete strangers just helping me out. I've been there, man. Oh. Every time you slow down and feel like you just can't go anymore, that's like a, a mental battle that you go through. Like right now, let's go. All right, I'm back up. Oh, just slow and steady. Slow and steady, no quitting. I didn't burn 20 miles to quit right now. That's all the inspiration I need. All right, my sister's calling me. I'm running this marathon for her. She's all the way in Egypt. And a bigger, a bigger marathon than Egypt. All of a sudden, I just got a bunch of energy. My muscles just loosened up. Still tense, but a lot less tense. I'm at mile 21 for the next five miles. Every mile is gonna be for someone I love. This one is for Darren. Love you, there, Bear. All right, mile 22 is for all the students around America standing up against gun violence. Let's go. All right, this is mile 23, and this one goes out to everyone battling mental health out there. Whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, you're a champ. Keep going. Be strong. Take care of yourself. This is mile 24. This one goes out for Charlie Rocket. The man who's been a brother, a mentor and an absolute inspiration for me. Mile 25 is for the friendship and the brotherhood that I share with Matt, Thomas, Darren, and TD. I'm so grateful that you guys are in my life, always pushing me forward. All right, this is mile 26. And this is for everyone who came out today, just offering so much love, so much food, so much water. Thanks for all the love. Finish strong, okay? Oh my gosh! This feels amazing. This feels sick. Come on, get it! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh. That's it? You did it! I'm done! One of the best feelings I've ever had. Absolutely worth it. I needed this. I wasn't doing well. You almost like have revelations running a marathon. It's you got a lot of time to think. Oh yeah. You got a lot of time to be in your own head. You just ran 26 miles. <laughs> That's wild. You know what? This fool says he can do a lot of shit, And he holds his word. He finished a f***ing marathon without training. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching me go through this. Running a marathon was definitely a life-changing experience for me, and I would recommend for anyone out there to try it at least once. If there's one thing in the 72 hours before the marathon that I did that truly made all the difference is the fact that I was listening to Born to Run, which is a brilliant book about running and about our evolutionary history and how running is an extremely important part of our lives. In fact, I ran the first 70 miles of this marathon listening to the audiobook and Audible. So we're super stoked today to be offering you the opportunity to listen to the book for free if you click on the link in the description, download Audible, 
available and use your free credit to get this book. You can obviously get any book, but that's the one I would really, really, really recommend. And you can also text yes 3 to 500 500 and you would get the download link back as a reply. And on this note, I would like to thank everyone that came out, supported me during the marathon, all the kind messages from you guys to me through Instagram. I really appreciate all of those and all the advice that you guys were sending through. All right, I'll see you next week.